raccoon spring. That's how you make a sandwich right here, okay? Put our mustard on there. And you gotta use paper. Smear it around a little bit. No matter how crappy a sandwich is, always make it taste good with some chips. Needs more chips, obviously. You can never have too many chips on your sandwich. So we just put the boat in. Uh, we're gonna go to Sandy Island, which is pretty much a very popular place for everybody to uh, go fishing and drink and have fun at Myrtle Beach. So it's a really hot day today. <laughs> Woo! Leather seat's gonna feel nice on the buns. Ugh. Here we go. We have to go kind of slow through here, which really sucks because it's really hot. Save them. Hello, buddy. Oh no! No 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 no! Don't go over there. That's, you think you, can these little tree frogs swim? I don't. Eat them. Ah! Here. Don't you make a jump for it, dude. There's water over there. Please, for the love of God, do not make a jump for it. Where are you going with them? I will. He's like, hell no, I ain't leaving. Uh, we're gonna get stuck in this mud, I feel like. Oh. Don't jump off. Trevor shirtless instead. <laughs> no, I'm not peeing. <laughs> uh, <We're> totally peeing. <laughs> Walking in the sand is one thing, but then trying to walk up a steep hill in the sand is like a whole nother freaking. Quick interruption, I want to thank Manscaped for sponsoring this video because listen, just because summer is over doesn't mean we can't talk about still keeping up with your summer body. And I'm not talking about eating healthy and doing setups and all that crap. I know when wintertime rolls around, we like the things grow out and let everything kind of do its thing. But I just want to say, Guns N' Roses, and they're singing Welcome to the Jungle. We got fun and games. That's a bunch of crap because in the jungle, it isn't fun and games. Keep that body in tip top shape by using Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. It's totally wireless and waterproof, so you can take it in the shower and it even has a light on it. In case you wanna get really freaky. They also have amazing products to keep your groin area smelling nice and fresh, such as the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. It's anti-chafing with active pH control and made without sulfates, parabens, or dyes. It's very gentle on the skin. Yeah, I didn't remember that because I can't remember every little fine print that's on the bottle, but it smells really, really nice. So it's always good to be prepared that are safe and sorry. So with that being said, just because summer is ending, guys, doesn't mean you have to let your body go. Happy wife, happy life, right? And if you're not married, well, you're off to a better start than the rest of us. Click on the link below and go to manscaped.com forward slash Alex dash Zedra and you'll receive 20% off plus free international shipping. Your body, butt, and balls will thank you. So will the ladies too. Just hung out a little bit at the beach. The beach. <laughs> and uh, so now we're gonna go uh, cast a few lines. See if we catch any fish. Really 
hot day today. I don't know if they're gonna really bite, but we shall see. Got a little weedless crawdad on there. We're kind of in the middle. I don't know where. where which way you want to go? There's a little raccoon swimming across the water. Look at him go. You called that. I said. All right, let's give him his face. Oh, sorry. Someone's trying to get over there. Look at him. He's swimming. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen a raccoon swim. Mm hmm. I literally heard this little nose, this little noise go, Boop! and I was like, that sounds like Mochi, who was my pet raccoon. I had a little baby raccoon, but unfortunately I traveled too much. So I had to um, give him to uh, a lady who uh, rehabilitates raccoons. So um, next thing you know, I turn around and there's a freaking raccoon swimming across the water. So, oh, I miss him. <laughs> no hits, nothing. So, I don't know. We might get skunked. Salt without even tasting what something oh wow it's hot as balls <laughs> i won't know what it tastes like because i burnt my tongue but based off what i could taste it tastes good so far good. yeah <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. i'll try in five minutes we'll try. <laughs> first trying to know what it did it cool off yeah now i could taste it mm-hmm it's good playing. That's that homemade dill sauce right there. Yeah. That's good. I can't tell if it's because I'm starving or because it's really good. Hey, hunger is the greatest seasoning on earth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm double dipping. They're not looking. I never know. I never know. I never know. How do they know? They'll never know. With estrogen. <laughs> With estrogen. Man, leave the root alone. Is he barking? So you see the two knobs right there? Right These here? little things? Yeah. Don't mess with this one. And then you got four. Oh, that's backwards, sorry. <laughs> four. And then it's got, it's got five speeds. Wait. So when it stops backwards? going, yeah, that way. But you sometimes backwards doesn't work. Let me get you up. Sometimes backwards won't work. You got to smack it. <laughs> Use your long arms. It fucking works for me. Here, go the other way. Forward. Yeah, you, got, you got five gears, and when it stops, you're in the uh, you're out of the gears. How do you steer? Your, your feet. feet. Sorry. Oh, you got, hey, I can't even read also, the pedals. there's pedals. <laughs> oh yeah, about that. <laughs> there's a left and a right. <laughs> it's fun though. <laughs> oh, she's zooming now. Take on the walk-a-mom, all the gators. Just got food in our tummy. Still ain't got no fish, but the day's not over, so. Now we're getting to the point where it's cool out. Got some salt and vinegar on. in my body. Ooh, look at that cloud back there. Looks like it's gonna storm.
All right, so I think we found a stopping point where we're uh, gonna cast some lines. Um, the sun is gone. We got some. Ah! What the fuck? Something just hit my hand. Um, <laughs> the sun is gone. Um, hopefully it doesn't storm, but the the sky does look pretty gnarly right now. So um, maybe I won't be as miserable this time throwing lines because dude, it was freaking hot earlier. I have a feeling I ain't gonna catch jack crap. You know what I think I'm gonna catch? The rain. <laughs> Turtle. My fish, my greatest fishing story. <laughs> not today. <laughs> oh, no, that's not that. Um, so since we didn't catch any fish, I figured maybe I'd tell you a story about how I caught two, like four or five pounders back to back, one cast up to the other. Well, that's the story, I guess. I just told it. <laughs> The fish just landed right by yours. Oh. Hold on. I gotta recast real quick. Oh! <laughs> he said, hey, YouTube! <laughs> Look at me! <sighs> My line's a little short. I was in this pond over in a golf course, which is the best place, place for bass. And the cool thing, I live in Myrtle Beach, and it's like literally golf central. Golf haven. Um... Oh, mullet. Um, and I had, I bought this really pretty ribbon tail. Wait, something's over there. Come on. It's gonna be the longest story told by ADD. Like, fish. Anyway, first cast. Boom, something smacks it ends up being a four pound bass. This is also during spawn season, so they were being a little aggressive. Literally the next cast in, boom, another fish, same size. I call it Old Faithful, and you know what? It is hung up on my wall right now because it did me good. It's, and it's broken, it's ripped apart right now because it got hit so many times. That is a fact. Ooh, that was a really good cast. This is the spot right here. I tell you what, they are hopping up everywhere. Some of our mullets, but I know for a fact there's a couple bass that smacked the I caught a fish, I caught a fish. It's a tree pounder. A tree pounder. <laughs> Should we take a picture with it? Safe catch release. I'm good. Is that what you'd like? Yes, that what you'd like? So what you'd like? Bruh. Well, you probably can't see, but a big old fish just smacked the top of the water right when we're leaving. I'm out of here. wrong way it's getting dark we're like wait a minute we don't recognize that <laughs> i don't know where we are thank god for oh my god it's getting dark put on our little surefire light how are we looking guys there we go we're gonna need that for the oh yeah anyway well this video just got interesting turn around maybe we'll Get out of here before it gets pitch black. <laughs> With 10 minutes to spare, <laughs> I turn look like I got no damn hair on my head right now. We're flying, trying to find this spot. I but think yeah, this With fit. 10 minutes, I never paid attention what was to the right. Me neither, because I was looking for traffic. With 10 minutes left to spare, I think we made it, I think. I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely going to Thomas the train this way. Oh 
Oh yeah, I think this is it. Okay, I take that back. Uh, I don't think we are where we need to be. We're supposed to be here. This is what we're trying to find. This is where we are. So we're actually on land. <laughs> No idea where we're gonna end up, dude. Oh my god. Ah, we finally made it, and it's totally dark outside. But that's a wrap for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment below. Okay, bye. Oh god, a bit of fun. These are rocks. There's a frog laughing at me. It's a plague. It's a plague. All them blackbirds.